Moonstar the dog somehow manages to get around on three legs, but thanks to some Bluffton High School students, she might not have to. Engineer design and development students are busy checking their measurements to fit Moonstar with a new prosthetic leg. Probably the hardest part is trying to get the measurements right as when she's walking, it changes based off of the distance on the ground. So when she's ex fully extended, it shifts a significant amount from whenever she's just resting. So we have to find a way to make sure that she can walk and lay down and rest with those distance gaps. The students have built this metal prototype. Once they make their final adjustments, the class will use a 3D printer to create the new leg. The metal piece we use is just to find the right distance for it, so it's not actually the leg we're going to use. And then the nub is for, that's actually what we are going to use. And we had to make it through uh, Inventor, and then once we made it through Inventor, we gave it to Mr. Robinson and he 3D printed it out. Moonstar was adopted by S.D. Williams about a year ago from the Hilton Head Humane Society. At first, the shelter thought the dog's leg had been shot, but that wasn't the case. When they did x-rays, they didn't find any pellets, and so the vet, Dr. Laurel Berry, determined that it was probably um, crushed by another dog, and she had some defensive wounds on her. So her leg didn't heal, they had to amputate it, and then they rehabilitated her there. Williams is a Beaufort County District employee who met Bluffton High teacher Justin Robinson at a 3D printer seminar. The two started talking about Moonstar, and Robinson realized this would be a perfect project for his third year engineering students. They're starting to realize that a lot of the things that they learned, they still have to find a lot more information and do a lot of research to fill in the pieces and kind of put everything together. They've never really had to put all of the pieces together until they took this class. And now they have to go in and solve the problems using everything that they know, but piece together all the information that they don't know as well. The students are going to make a few more adjustments but feel like they are getting close to creating a working limb for the dog. Right now we're probably going to look at doing some kind of like harness to make sure that she can stay stabilized on that side. Even though Moonstar has adapted to using three legs, Williams worries about her dog's future. With her having the front leg missing, over time like that joint is going to wear down. So while she can get around really well right now, just over time if there's a way to take some of that pressure off some of the time, even if it's just when we're walking on the sidewalk versus at home she isn't wearing it, then that's going to help her you know, in the long run. The students hope to 3D print Moonstar's new leg in about two weeks. At Bluffton High School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District.